One for Michelle. Those two rabbits are gonna piss off and they're gonna whip you. Oh, five stars. Meet those two rivals from Texas, Malaysia, Willis. Chicago, Illinois, Bobby Flippin! Alright, let's get this tournament started right now! <laughs> Which I pulled a ghost reference on top of that from True Capitalist Radio. Alright, let's get started with the first question. However, I, I decided to put Elijah on the top and Ronnie on the bottom, so Elijah, you're going to be red, and Ronnie, you're going to be blue, because this is the Tournament of Champions, although you were the previous episode's champion. Right. Let's have Elijah have the first question, because he is on the top. Okay. Okay, we asked 100 married men in the... No, we asked 100 married women in the California studio off audience, who is more likely to start an argument, you or your husband? How many women said they were the ones who started an argument? That's a tough question. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to have to go with Oh, yes. Okay, Ronnie, is that higher or lower? I get it. Yeah. I was thinking you'd go lower. All right. The actual number of married women in the California student audience said they were the ones who started an argument is... It is 62. It is lower. Good job, Rodney. Wow. Not that much lower. Not that much lower. Wow. Well, that was a good guess, Elijah. <laughs> that was a good guess. All right. Yeah, here's your baseline. Yeah, that's a good guess. 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 So I'm gonna freeze right there. Okay, yeah. keeping Elijah away from his cards. Yeah, good as well. Okay. Thank you. All right, that's a wise decision to have. Okay, let's go to Ronnie's question. We asked 100 men out of university employees, "Do you think students are smarter than professors?" How many universities said that students are smarter than professors? University employees. Thirty out of a hundred. Elijah, is that higher or lower than thirty? I'm gonna go a little higher. Okay, going higher. Let's check it out. The actual number of married women in the California studio audience said they were the ones who started an argument. Elijah, you're gonna be blue. Okay, let's get this tournament started. Right. 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 Okay, let's get this Lower than the king, a seven. Um, I'm going to go higher. Higher than a seven. Oh, no, it's a four. Uh, 
All right, so that brings you back to your king. And Rodney, you must play off that eight. I'm going up higher. Higher than an eight. It's a ten. And I'll freeze it right there. Okay, moving my marker right here. And let's go to Elijah's question. We asked 100 married men, should a man whose wife was stolen be able to sue for damages? How many men said they would sue for damages? How many men said they would sue for damages? Like, like should they whose wife was stolen be able to sue for damages? Seventy-five, three fourths of the way there. Ronnie, is that higher or lower than seventy-five? We asked 100 married men, should a man whose wife was stolen be able to sue for damages? How many men said they would sue for damages? Yeah, be able to sue for damages. Yeah. Yeah, after after the cheat happens. Okay, going lower. Let's check it out. The actual number of men said a man whose wife was stolen to be able to sue for damages is. It is forty nine. It is lower. All right, you have that 10. What do you want to do with that 10? May I change the 10, please? Yes, you can. The 10 becomes, oh, a 9. Wow, rough cards. You know what? I have not seen a face card on my side. So I'm going to go against the odds and go higher. Okay, higher than a 9. It's a 10. Good change. Mm, that would have been a double. Okay, I'm going to freeze this one again, Dylan. Oh, boy, he's freezing again. And this is the fourth and final question. Somebody's got to win in this control of the cards. It is very important. And Ronnie, this is your question. Yes, sir. We asked 100 police women, if you ever caught your mom speeding, would you give her a speeding ticket? How many police women said they would give their mom a ticket for speeding? That's Mm -hmm. Thirty-five. Elijah, do you think it's higher or lower than thirty-five? I'm going lower, and I see your opinion about what their job is to do. The actual number of police women said that they would give them a spe their mom a speeding ticket for speeding is... It is 21. It is lower. Good job. Okay, Elijah, you have four cards to turn over. If you pass it over to Rodney, he must play off at 10. What do you want to do, Elijah? I'm going to pass. Okay, Ronnie. Call on the 10. You know what? I feel like the odds are telling me to go back lower, so I'm going lower. Okay, to win round one, lower than a 10, it's an 8. You won round yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Good one. Good one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that was the first match. So I'm now going to deal the deck for round number two. All right, and in that case, um, Elijah has the next question. Okay, we asked 100 people, 
Do you approve of having nonviolent convictees to work without pay to help the poor elderly? How many people say they do approve? Um, do you want me to repeat the question? Yes. Okay, we asked 100 people, do you approve of having non non-victed con I mean All right, I'm going to erase the number. All right, let's look up the question. Do you approve of having non-violent convictees to work without pay? To help deport elderly. Um, I'm gonna say that the that's a tough question, but I'm gonna go with probably seventeen. Mm, low number, seventeen. Ronnie, do you think is higher or lower than seventeen? Right. Okay, going a little bit higher. All right. The actual number of people said they do approve of having nonviolent convictees to work without paid to help the poor elderly is. You're not going to believe this. It is 86. It is a lot higher. Look at that. 86 out of 100. All right. Here's your opening card, Rodney. An ace. Oh, God. Lower. Lower than an ace. It's a 10. Oh, man. Those middle cards, man. I'm going to go ahead and freeze. Freezing on the 10, keeping Elijah away from his cards. Yeah. And we're going to Rodney's question. We asked 100 first graders. It's all right. You got this. You can do it, Elijah. Okay, we asked 100 first graders, do you have a secret hiding place that even your parents don't know about? How many first graders said they do have a secret hiding place? Okay, a secret hiding place that their parents don't know about. Even if they think they got a hiding place, they're going to be saying, hell, they have a place. Yeah. Yes, it is first graders. Sixty-five. However, in my opinion, um, I'd say the police might find their first grader just in case if they're lost, even though if it's a secret hiding place, because because first graders don't want to be lost, even though if they know when they are. Anyway, Elijah, do you think it's higher or lower than 65? I'm going to go lower. Going lower than 65. Let's check it out. The actual number of first graders said they do have a secret hiding place, even their parents don't know about, is... It is 84. It is not lower. It's higher. Mm. All right. You have that 10. What do you want to do? Now please change to 10, Dylan. All right, you may, but 10 becomes a 5. Better change. Yes, I'm going to go. I, I have one face card. I know there's another one out there. I'm going to go higher. Higher than a 5? It's a 9. Oh, boy. Come on, middle cards. I'm going to freeze again. All right, freezing on the 9, keeping Elijah away from his cards. He's playing safe on the middle cards. All right, and Elijah has the next question. We asked 100 college students from a UCLA campus, are you in love at this moment? How many college students said they were in love? Um, that's a pretty high number. Um, so I'm going to say Fifty in the middle? 
All right, going 50 in the middle. Ronnie, do you think it's higher or lower than 50? Can you repeat that question one more time, please? We asked 100 college students from a UCLA campus, are you in love at this moment? And how many college students said they were in love? Going a little bit higher. Let's check it out. The actual number of UCLA college students says they were in love at this moment is... It is 46. It is not higher. It's lower. So Elijah gets it now. All right, Elijah. You finally got the chance of the cards. Here's your first card for round two. A jack. Mm, change it. Ooh, he wants to change off of that jack. The jack becomes a five. That's an okay change. Higher. Higher than a five. A six. Higher. Higher than a six. Oh, no, another six. I'm going to hate those doubles. Oh, man, this is not looking so good. Okay, you have a nine, and you must play off of it, Rodney. I'm going to go higher. Higher than a nine. No, a four. Yeah. All right. All right. This is the last question of this round, and somebody has to win. The control is very important. And Rodney, you have the next question. And Rodney wins. He advances to the next part of the finals. I mean, of the tournament. All right. This is very important, and it's a very important decision after this question is over. Anyways, Rodney, we asked 100 married men. If you called your wife from work to say you were going to have a drink with your buddies and she said, you get home right now, would you go straight home? How many men said they go home now? I better go home or I won't be there in the house. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With that said, I'm going to go with uh, a high number on this one. I'm going to go with 65 again. 65. Elisha, is that higher or lower than 65? Take a chance and say lower. Going lower. All right, let's see what it is. The actual number of married men said that their wife said, you get home right now, they go straight home, is... It is 35. It is lower. Oh, All right, again, this is very critical. You have four cards to turn over. Rodney cannot change that nine, and he has two cards to turn over. Pass or play? I'm going to pass. Okay, Rodney. Good luck. Higher or lower than a nine? Here we go. I'm going to go higher. Higher than a nine. Oh, no. It's a three, and Elijah wins, and it's a tie. Got a tie Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes. This is very important to tell. Who is going to win that three-card, three-question showdown? Unfortunately, guys, I only have two questions left, especially that's all I have written. So this will be a three-round, uh, three-card, two-question showdown. And in that case, Elijah, this is your question. Okay. We asked 100 bachelors, have you stopped dating a girl because your mother disapproves of her? How many bachelors said that has happened to them? How much? Four or five? Yeah. Okay, that, that's a little between the middle. Okay, Ronnie, do you think it's higher or lower than 45? Okay, going a little higher. Let's check it out. The actual number of bachelors said they stopped dating a girl because her mother disapproves of her is... It is 10. It is not higher. It's lower. Wow. Oh, wow. Not many people stop dating a girl, even though if her mother disapproves, they can still love her at any point. Yes. Okay, here's your first card of the third round. Wait, who got it? Elijah? Okay, good thing I caught on that. All right, Elijah, here's your first card. A king. Lower. Lower than a king. 
a two. Higher. All right. To become a champion and move on to semifinals. Higher, but a two. You did it. You're the champion. Good game, Elijah. Thank you. Ronnie, amazing start, but then that, that end happened to be strange. Yes. I knew he was going to come back on me. Wow. Well, you're still able to watch the money cards to see how Elijah like does. The semifinals. Yeah, I'll watch it and see what's going to happen. I'll control the dings, the, um, the bombs. Oh, yes. Yes. You you have control of the sound effects. Okay. We're at $200. Your first card is a seven. All right. A seven. Uh, change it to number one. All right. Change it to number one. And the seven becomes, oh, another seven. Oh. One hundred lower. A hundred dollars lower than a seven. A five. Three hundred dollars and a five. Um, one hundred higher. A hundred higher than a five. A six. Four hundred dollars and a six. One hundred higher. Again, one hundred dollars higher than a six. It's an ace. That puts you at nine hundred dollars because the ace goes to the four hundred dollar section. And you cannot lose off of that ace. All of it lower. It's a 10. 1,800 and a 10. Change it with number three. All right. The 10 becomes a king. Um, 900 lower. Ooh, going half a bet. Lower than a king. A seven. $2,700 and you have that seven. Eight hundred dollars higher than a seven. It's a push. No win, no loss. But this goes into the big bet of where you must bet at least thirteen fifty, and you may change off of a seven. Change it. The seven becomes a jack. Mm. Half of it lower. Thirteen fifty lower than a jack. No, it's a king. You lost half of it, but you put you play to safe. Thirteen fifty. Plus the two thousand dollars that gets thirty three fifty. However, no joker, so you've won three thousand three hundred fifty dollars. However, um, your grand total winnings, along with the sixty eight thousand four hundred dollars in the previous season, gives you a ten win total of seventy one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. All right. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all in the quarterfinals number two.